So I know you guys are thinking, yeah, I just destroyed another pair of shoes. But this is actually the same pair of shoes I already destroyed. This is an Ultra Boost that I did a dip dye on, and it was actually a fake pair. I wanted to go ahead and try this Hydro Dip technique out with the print. And obviously I had a lot of fails, but this was my very first attempt on any pairs of shoes. I will have a couple more that I cannot wait to do. Definitely learned a lot from this first attempt. So I wanted to show you guys what I did to create this travesty, but also this gives me a little bit of hope that this could be really dope because look at what it does when it actually adheres properly. The cage looks crazy with that flower print. The sole obviously it looks a little bit bad because of all the spotting, but I think I figured out how to fix that but the heel cup looks really cool as well. Also, the upper actually looks pretty cool with the print of the flowers, and it actually sticks on really well, so it gives me hope. And finally, you could see even on this one, the boost type material looks pretty good. Obviously a little bit of cracking, but that was my fault. And uh, it works really well, it doesn't wear off, and it, it's squishy. It's really surprising stuff. It makes me really excited to give this a try on some other things. This is what we ended up with. I wanted to show you guys the steps that it took to get here, so enjoy this part of the video.
All right, so this is the results of that mad scientist project. You could see that obviously it turned out terrible, but I will say that this gives me hope because this was my very first attempt at doing this and I learned a lot of things. Number one, I wanted to go ahead and do obviously the full thing on one shoe and then only the midsole and the boost on the second shoe to see if it would actually pick up on the boost material and what this thing would actually do. But I wanted to do this on a couple different things now because of the way that these results ended up coming out. So first things first, as you could see that this material actually adheres to the prime knit and it looks pretty good. Like it actually doesn't look bad. You could see the flower prints through it all, even though obviously I didn't do an even dip. And that was my fault because I didn't have a big enough bin. The next time I'll have a way bigger bin. So I'll be able to do one full dip down and around and get everything done in once. Because this, I, it took me two tries. The other thing that I definitely noticed that was a huge mistake uh, was that I went way too fast when I went through the water. Also, the sheet in the water wasn't super level, and because of that, there was a little bit of bubbles. I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong for anybody out there that's like experts at this, but I'm assuming this happened because I went too fast in the water and it caught air bubbles uh, on the um, material, or I might have just oversprayed the stuff uh, on the uh, material. I honestly don't know, but it doesn't look terrible. It's just noticeable though um, when you look it up close that there's definitely some spotting. So I would definitely take this and go slower next time because I definitely moved too quickly. Some sections though took really well, like you can see the heel cup right here looks really sick as well as this cage. So if I just did the cage and the heel cup, that would actually look really dope on its own. Uh, this material on this upper is already jacked because again, I used this fake pair of Ultra Boost for a different custom. I dip dyed them and um, so yeah, I did a couple other things to this one. But the other th major thing that I did wrong was that I dipped it once, I went back in and tried to do it again, you could see what it ended up doing. Like it does not work. Even if you use an extra film, it, it, I use a completely different film, but the oils and the water and everything else just make it so it's separated and it does not work. So take it out, rinse everything off because there is a film on it and it's like really slimy. And then once you rinse that off, this is actually like, like you can't even notice it. Like it doesn't rub off. I'm like rubbing really hard on it and it doesn't rub off on your finger. So it's crazy this material that is used with this paint and how it adheres to everything that it sticks on. So I I'm really think this is gonna be promising. I'm gonna be able to do this to a couple other pairs of sneakers. One, I'm gonna be able to do it to the upper, I believe, if I just have a pair of sneakers like the Yeezy Boost 350s. I feel like I could do a dip dye of just the upper on the 350 with this flower print and it would look amazing. That's something that I plan on doing and I think it will look really good. Leave a comment in this video or a thumbs up on this video to let me know if that's something you guys wanna see and I will use that for my other pair instead of doing the other um, dye experiment that I was gonna do. I still plan on doing that on the other Ultra Boost, the Parlay Ultra Boost, but, uh, but I have some other projects in the works uh, as well. So I just wanted to show you guys the progress as I was going. Uh, and the other thing is notice this material. Now I know this is, I said is fake, so it's not real Boost, but it is a soft midsole and you could see it really transferred well. So I can push in, my thumb doesn't turn green or anything like that. It actually sticks to this material. So I think that if I just did the midsole like that, it would have been really dope. But obviously I screwed it up on the main side because I did the same thing on this pair that I did on the first one, made that mistake. I did this dip, then instantly threw in the next sheet and did this dip and it was already wet and everything else was just a disaster. So it did not work. You have to do it probably all at once, so I need a bigger bin. Um, and that is what I'm gonna be doing for the next experiment. But what do you guys think though? Like obviously this one looks like trash, but what do you think conceptually about what is going on? I mean, again, this was a test. I wanted to see how it transferred to the sock liner type materials, how it transferred to the plastics. Obviously the plastics, it works pretty good, but um, the boost was the biggest question. And then I didn't even think it would take to the prime knit and it actually looks pretty cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this as a example for me to be able to do a couple other pairs. I'm gonna do one of just boost for sure, but leave some comments in this video and let me know what you guys would like to see and I will do that in the future. But I knew about this technology a couple years ago from some friends in Portland, Oregon or Beaverton, Oregon uh, that do a bunch of customs for Nike and Adidas and they've been doing hydro dipping for forever. And actually I reached out to them two years ago and I wanted to do a foam posit hydro dip and we just never got around to actually making the time to do it. 
So I just went ahead and took the liberty to try this on my own. Hopefully I'll be able to link up with them and actually do it professionally because they know what they're doing there. They'll be able to tell me all the things that I'm doing wrong. But at the end of the day, I have some time right now while I'm on paternity leave and I wanted to go ahead and give these a try. So leave some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future uh, of with this hydro dipping. I have two different patterns. I can't wait to show you guys the other one. It's just bananas comparison to this one. It's definitely something I'm going to be using on the boost. Uh, but uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified of when my videos go live. But thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.